Alright, hello and welcome back to another episode of Heroes of the Storm A to Z. Uh, my name once again is Conman, and today we are checking out Artanis. Um, he is another warrior. He's actually the third uh, StarCraft character that we're going to get into. I guess they all start with A's, I don't know. Uh, anyway, he is um, currently 700, as time of this recording, 750 gems, 10,000 gold uh, to purchase him. I believe he still comes free if you buy... StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void, so should you ever want to, you know, if you don't have it already, you want to play some StarCraft, uh, and you pick up Legacy of the Void, I believe Artanis still comes uh, packaged in, in there. So, that being said, let's take a look at his kit, uh, let's see what he can do. Alright, first off, uh, his Q ability, let me walk a little in range here. So his Q ability, Blade Dash, dash forward, deal a little bit of damage to enemies, uh, then return and deal a little bit more um, damage to enemies. Every enemy hit reduces the cooldown on shield uh, overload by one second, heroes by two seconds. Uh, shield overload being retreat, which we'll, we'll check out in a little bit. Well, here's Blade Dash. See? You go in, you do a little bit of damage, and then you do uh, some extra damage on the kind of like the downstroke, so to speak. A um, couple of things to keep in mind here that are important to note. Uh, you can kind of dash through terrain. So if I go like this, I kind of dash through these these trees there. Uh, you you are not invulnerable. You definitely can still take damage while blade dashing. Uh, and you can be affected by crowd control abilities. Um, so I've actually, what I've done a couple times in the past when I was being silly, is I've dashed uh, through these towers here, over the wall, trying to get it into opponent. Um, got myself stunned in the face and was behind enemy lines and, and died horribly as a result. So uh, you want to be careful about that, just something to keep in mind. Second ability, uh, Twin Blades, W. Cooldown's four seconds. Uh, you toggle this up. Artanis' next basic attack immediately causes him to charge a short distance and strike the enemy two times. So we toggle it out. You see he uh, <laughs> pops out the blades here, and you get the blue uh, targeting... A reticule or targeting area here, um, and that shows you with, if you're within range and you do an auto attack, you see he immediately, rather than just attacking, he immediately charges forward and does two attacks. One, two. And these these are basic attacks. These aren't auto. These aren't. Uh, this is not ability damage. These are basic attacks um, that he does with twin blades. His last ability, and this is this is where the fun part comes in, uh, is phase prism. Phase prism is another skill shot. Uh, it does, it does a little bit of damage, its damage is, is kind of inconsequential, but it's, it's, uh, it's beauty. Is that it replaces positions with the opponent if you can hit them. It's got a short range, but if an opponent is running away, you run up and you can phase prism and, and kind of put them back behind uh, enemy lines. Uh, what you can do now, they recently added this ability and it wasn't always in there. If you'll see in the tooltip, it can be used during blade dash. Um, so you can blade dash and use phase prism and combo that for actually a pretty long range pull. So we're going to try it here against this targeting dummy. Bang. That's a pretty big distance. So imagine if this is the enemy running away or the enemy who, who kind of peeked in just a little too far out, overextended. And this back here was, you know, the rest of your team waiting in, uh, lying in wait. Uh, now he's super out of position. That's probably a dead enemy for you. The timing can be a little tricky. You, you, if you do it too soon, you do one of these, where you still get them, but they don't go nearly as far. You, you kind of want to hit it right about a moment or so after you start to go back, depending on the timing and the distance. So you can see, uh, I, I did that one actually a little too late, that last one. I'm essentially, I'm hitting it um, as I start to go back to get the maximum uh, pull distance in with that. Um, and with this ability, he can do, he makes actually a tennis a pretty big playmaker. Um, any enemies that can get, you know, too far out of position. Let's see if I can do it with our uh, Arthas here. See? Now suddenly, my, my team would be right here. Arthas would be in a little bit of trouble. And I actually didn't even hit that to its full potential. Uh, the last ability is just treat shield overload. So what this does is, if you're at 75% health or lower, and you take some damage, and this is off cooldown, Artanis is going to get a shield for five seconds. Uh, pretty substantial shield, as a matter of fact. Let's go, let's go piss off this Merc camp. Have him hit me a bit, and you'll see what happens. So a little bit after I go under 70%. There you go, bang. Now I get a shield. 
if I take off tool cooldowns, this is actually reduced by auto attacks. So I'll, I'll have him uh, hit me again. This goes up, now as I auto attack, four seconds every auto attack. This also counts with twin blades. So if I toggle twin blades and hit somebody, uh, you see it went down by eight seconds. And as mentioned before, it also is reduced by blade dash. So you do blade dash, and you know this pops back up more often. Uh, so this actually lends Artanis to be pretty tanky in, in the right situations. If you're if you're attacking people regularly, you're going to do uh, you know a lot of basic attacks. You're going to do some blade dashes. Uh, you know as mana holds, you're going to be resetting this cooldown uh, much more frequently, which keeps which is going to keep you alive. Uh, there have been a plenty, plenty of times where I've been fighting an Artanis, and I think I'm going to get the last kill. Like, all right, I've got him. He's out of position. I'm going to hit him, and instead, he, you know, ends up getting a shield and then scoots off away with like low health. Um, so, something to keep in mind when you are playing Artanis. Um, let's take Choose a look a at his Choose ultimates, a and then we'll hop into a quick match and take a look. First one, Suppression a Pulse. Strategic. Uh, suppression Pulse is this wide range. Kind of, kind of pulse is essentially what you call it. Um, it doesn't have a lot of damage. Even you see, even at level 20, it's only doing about 260 damage, which isn't a whole lot altogether. Um, but what it does, it blinds the enemy for four seconds. So let's find Arthas here. We'll hit him with that. So it didn't really do a whole lot of damage, but you see he's blinded for four seconds. Um, also, this is this is global. You can cast this anywhere. You could be, you know, you could be back, back at spawn. Enemy runs in. You can hit him with this and they're blinded. So if they, you're fighting a team that has a lot of auto attackers, uh, you know, Illidan, something like that, you know, you can use this, uh, and it's got a fairly short cooldown, 50 seconds, so if they go to engage, suddenly they find themselves blind and they may not be able to do uh, the damage they expect and it can end uh, in their downfall. This also is going to synergize pretty well with, with Cassia, if you have Cassia on your team, since all of her damage uh, is actually increased uh, against blinded opponents. So you drop this on a bonus of opponents, the Cassia is attacking and suddenly she's doing extra bonus damage. And then Choose a his talent. other ult Choose is a Purifier Beam. Choose a so after about a one second wind up, you get this beam of plasma of some kind uh, that's going to come down, it's going to drop on an enemy. Uh, it is mobile, so let's see if we can, Arthas is going to die here. Yep. We'll let him respawn for a second and uh, we'll drop it on Arthas' head and we'll see how it looks. There are this bot. There we go. This will actually follow him if he runs away. Nope, guess not. He's gonna get rooted. Well, <laughs> worth a shot. Um, so what this will do? This will actually follow the target. If the target is moving, it will follow the target uh, for a little bit. You know, it lasts. It lasts eight seconds. So uh, it will follow them a, a little ways, but it follows them more slowly than they can actually walk. So if Arthas gets out of this route and runs away, maybe we'll see it. Just slightly there at the end. Yeah, you see, he starts to walk away. The beam follows him in a path, um, but he doesn't, doesn't. it's not able to catch up with him. Can't keep pace. So unless the, the, the person that you're targeting is crowd controlled, whether they're slowed or rooted or something like that, uh, it's not going to stay on them for all that long. They are going to move out of the way. But what this is going to be great for uh, is, is making people, you know, making them uncomfortable, so to speak. So like, if you've got a Sergeant Hammer who's sieged up, or you know an enemy Chromie that's in the back and dropping bombs on your team, you can drop this on their head. They will be able to run away, but uh, they, they are going to have to spend that time kind of moving to stay out of position and, and avoid taking damage. Because if they do take damage, you see, uh, it's actually a pretty substantial amount that adds up uh, pretty quickly. You, know, you, can, you can do a lot of damage in a short period of time. It'll also do damage not just to the you know person targeted, anyone who happens to walk in. If there's another enemy that walks into the area, uh, it'll do damage to them too. You know, you can only cast it on heroes. But you see, it did damage to that minion. Uh, if they if he walks through, it'll do damage to towers. It's not gonna make it there. <laughs> he died anyway. But it'll, if you know if somebody walks by and it travels across, it'll do damage to buildings. It'll do damage to the keep. It'll do damage to the core. So those are his uh, his ultimates. Uh, in the interest of time, let's hop out and hop into this quick match, and we'll see what we can do. So there are a couple of ways that you can build uh, Artanis out. He's you can build him very defensively. You can focus on the shield talents uh, to be like your main tank, just kind of soak up damage. See what you can do for your team. 
Uh, he's got a, uh, I guess I call it a, a bruiser build or damage build. Um, you take season markman at level one, and you know you take a lot of talents here. Focus on like the phase prism, and your job will be to just do as much damage as possible. Uh, this might be good. This actually might be good here. We'll see. We've got Chogal, and we've got a Genji, and maybe we're going to not have a connection because I don't see a fifth player. He also is good on PVE maps. Um, you know, Infernal, uh, Battlefield of Eternity, excuse me, uh, Garden of Terror, yeah, we lost that. Garden of Terror, uh, he's gotten a talent at level 1 that lets him do bonus damage uh, when using Twin Blades uh, to non-heroes, basically, you know, Mercs, um, the Immortals, the Garden Terror, uh, that comes in pretty handy. So we've got, I might, I think I'm going to go the damage build here, actually. So we've got ETC, and he's, he's more the traditional main tank uh, kind of deal. We've got some damage. So I'm going to focus on the. I'm going to go Bruiser build. Uh, I think we'll go here, um, which we'll probably need. Uh, see if we can make some plays and reposition. Like Jaina out in the open, she doesn't really have escape. So if I can get a phase prism on her, she's probably going to be in for a world of hurt. Um, less, less Vala. Vala can you know vault out of the way, um, but it can still put a hurt on her. She can die pretty quickly. And here's another map on Hanamura again. I know they have a, a, a lower a lowered map rotation uh, right after 2.0. I'm not sure what it is. I think we've got just like Cursed Hollow and Hanamura. Um, Towers of Doom. I'm not sure what the full rotation is, but it's, it's, it's not the full extent of what you can get right now. So, what we're going to do, uh, I'm going to go since I'm going to go Season Parkman. So this is the plan. Although Block may have been a pretty... I could have gone. His other level 1 talent that I might have taken is Reactive Parry, which is every time I use Twin Blades, I get Physical Armor. That might not have been such a bad shot Battle against Vala and Genji. Ten seconds. Although I think the Genji Shurikens would have kind of shredded those block stacks Five, pretty quickly. So I'm, I'm going to go three, Prism Build. Two, one. Take Season Markman and try to build up some stacks here and do extra damage. So it looks like Laming is going to go bottom. That that might be troublesome for her. Uh, I'm not sure. She, yep, she's already uh, got company down there. Nova, she's, Nova's probably will roam. I saw. I definitely saw somebody in that bush. Uh, so they're going to go out and investigate. I'm going to hang up here on the top since the enemies are about spawning. And there we go. I knew I saw somebody before. There's Arthas. Arthas and... Looks like there's Jaina. Okay. Yeah, so I already missed one. What I was trying to do, I didn't really have anyone to to capitalize, but I wanted to kind of bring her in range of the turrets. Maybe uh, have her take a couple, you know, take just a little bit of damage from the turrets. Make her think twice about getting so close. We fight against the darkness. Missed it again. Yep. I'm trying to cut it too close, and I'm not doing the best job. Vanquish. Now, Artanis into Arthas is not great, because he's going to slow me down. There we go. I was going to say, I left Jaina pretty low. I was hoping ETC could follow up. So, uh, right now, what I'm just going to focus on, I'm going to try to get some stacks for my seasoned marksman. Seasoned marksman. Excuse me. And uh, just try to soak some experience. The future is ours. There we go. Take some damage. I do want to be careful. Uh, Arthas's AOE will slow my attacks down, and that's no good. Together we are strong. We fight against the darkness. Now. So they're all focusing, uh, looks like the bottom of the middle. Select a talent. I am intrigued. There can be no I'm going to go ahead over and escort the payload as soon as this spawns. Let my team know. Alright, level 4, I took shield surge. Increases uh, shield damage when lower than 25% uh, health. So if I'm at 25% health or lower, it will actually increase the amount of shields that I get from shield overload. Um, so that could come in handy if I'm trying. The team's trying to burst me down. They do have some burst between Jaina and 
and Vala that, uh, that could cause some problems. So that might come in handy. A little bit of extra survivability. Alright, I'm going to leave that to ETC and, and just keep working on the experience, working on my stacks. Uh, it looks like they're leaving us alone up here. And we're going to win the race to the first payload. There we go, yep. Payload okay, so they did get it. We got it just a few seconds sooner. Do a little bit of damage to that and then back off. I still see most of them down on the bottom. Alright, good job. We just killed the Yorick. Although we lost Nova. Oh, it's two, two deaths for that Nova, I think. We're getting pushed in pretty hard. I'm going to see what I can do here. This bird is mine. Well, that's no good. Alright, so we're going to lose. I'm going to back off them. So we're going we're gonna to lose that bottom uh, fort, I think. Uh, our payload's going to spawn down there, and their payload is going to spawn up top here. So at some point, somebody on their side is eventually going to have to come up here uh, if they want to escort the payload. So that's going to relieve the pressure a little bit. So now I don't see them off the mini-map, which means I'm going to back off. I'm going to let those minions kind of soak. Hopefully they don't pick up that experience because they get killed by the tower shots. Payloads deployed. Escort your payload to its destination. Mm -hmm. Looks like there are no tower shots left. I see. Here we go. Here it comes. Still just trying to get some experience. Maybe take care of one of those towers. Select a talent. I'm gonna go help them out. Perhaps I'm not the only prodigy here after all. Our path is clear. We are going to win the race to the second payload. payload there we go. Enemy <laughs> so she attacked the boss. The boss actually ate her teammate. But that worked out pretty nicely, I think. Uh, we did stop him. The payload is now backing up. Uh, the boss kind of unaggroed. I'm gonna miss that completely because that's awful. I want to be careful about the boss. Don't want to aggro it again. How impressive! Now at this point, we've we've got an advantage. I, I would like to push this back a little bit further. Um, I would like to keep soaking some experience if possible. back off. Yep, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna get body blocked in. There really isn't much I can do there. Uh, he's gonna get his grabby hand on me and I'm gonna be in trouble. Or Genji will do it. Yep, that's my fault. Definitely stuck around too long. ETC stuck around way too long. Okay, so what I would recommend here, just give them the payload. Uh, we're down two people. We're way out of position. Enemy payload firing. The enemy's payload Our team is giving shows. advice, which may or may not have been possible. Like, <laughs> I'm not even. I'll, I'll talk about that later. I'm not gonna let it tilt me. Your payload has been redeployed. All right, Leoric goes down again. With honor, I lead. So I don't see them on the mini map. I, I really would like to push that, but I don't know where they are. So I'm going to play it the safe. Enemy's payload has been they took the boss. That's surprising. I didn't expect them to do that so soon, and that's that's a little troublesome for us. With honor, I lead. We don't necessarily need four people to push this. This burden is mine. Payload firing on enemy 
With honor, I lead. All right, let's see what we can do in terms of this. We're going to hit 10 before they do at this rate. So I'd like to see if we can push that. Jane is probably going to go down. There she goes, and there's level 10. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go pure fire beam. You have that. Nice. You get back over here. There we go. And that is good for us. How impressive. I must leave. And I blame this failure upon you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back up top. Uh, most of them have respawned. Now because of the boss, we're actually down, even though... Oh, there that goes. Yeah, they're gonna get that. What I really want to do, because of the boss, I want to be able to take this down. Although I'm not going to be able to do it by myself. Because that would add on a second payload. shot uh, to the next payload. Enemy payload firing. With honor, I lead. Vanquish. Sonotera. <laughs> All right, triple tap on Vala. So uh, we're we're losing this pretty badly. <laughs> uh, I didn't even realize that this keep went down, so that was two shots. We are not doing too well. A bold plan. I'm going to head back down here. Will be redeployed shortly. ETC's got the right idea, but he's going to have to be careful. I just don't trust them. And I can't go in there against three, unfortunately. And dead, yep. You have been slain. Urgh. Your payload has been redeployed. Well, we're gonna lose this. Um, unless we turn it around quite substantially very quickly. We're, we're definitely going to lose this. Because uh, they're gonna clean up right here. They're, they've got a 5 on 3. Although we did get Bala. ETC and a Mosh that was interrupted. So actually that helped. But ETC is still going to die. I think he didn't mean to power slide in that direction. Yep. We got Jaina. But still went down himself. Yeah, we know. Enemy firing. We're gonna mute pings from that guy, because that's just silly. 
That's uh, that's just about game. We've got two payloads out, but one's far away, one's not near it. We're gonna need, in order for us to win, we would essentially, and they're gonna probably just take boss and finish it off. I, I bet. Um, yeah. Like they're they're taking the boss. And this is, see, ETC is pushing the cart, but they're taking the boss. So, I don't know. I would like to... Select a talent. How impressive. So we're still in business. Still in business. We did steal the boss. We're gonna have to stop their payload. I would love, love to be able to take a tower down. Vanquish. They're pushing hard. This is make or break time, I think, right here. Okay, good kill. Double kill. There's a last minute shield overload. Okay. I need some heals. We're gonna do that just to get him out of the way. Okay, nice. Alright, if we push this, we win. I think we're gonna get it. Oof. That was a good comeback. That was... I was, uh, I was glad the way that worked out. Still only a 15 minute game on Hanamura. I was glad the way that worked out. So, um... Let's take a look at the build. We'll, we'll talk about some things. MVP. Yeah, definitely. I, I did play... I played okay. Uh, I could have hit some more pulls. Um, I probably ran into things a little bit too much on my own um, than I should have. Um, I soaked a bunch, which I guess kept us in the game. Oh, I didn't vote. I probably should have voted for Arthas. He did, he did very well. And he kind of made our day uh, a living hell. But we'll take a look at the talents. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's... <laughs> look at that. That's all the XP. Okay, I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, anyway... So I took I took seasoned mark seasoned marksman. I'll say it I'll say it right once in a while. Um, every minion killed near me does 0.2 attack damage. Takedowns take 0.5. Uh, we never got to 40 stacks. I wasn't expecting to get to 40 stacks, but it will also increase my attack speed. Uh, the reason I took this, there wasn't really a whole lot of PVE action going on. You know, the other choices really might have been. Uh, amateur opponent, which twin blades will deal 150% bonus damage. I didn't really need to do that. Um, I could have gone reactive parry. Reactive parry, as I mentioned, will give me 50 physical armor. Didn't think it would have come in handy too much. Honestly, most of what killed me was, was Arthas um, and Lee Orc's uh, grabby hand. Uh, so I'm, I'm happy with the, with the pick I did there. Uh, shield Surge increases shield overload shield by 75% while below 25% health. Um, you actually saw that at the very end of the game where I got a last minute heal. I kind of waited out for my cooldown to go down and then I ran in, got a last minute heal and that kind of kept me alive. Um, this is more survivability. That's all, all it comes down to. Just kind of last minute, like, let's get the heck out of dodge kind of stuff. Um, Alright, level 7, Warp Sickness. Phase Prism also slows the enemy's movement speed by 35% for 4 seconds. So this is, uh, when you do get one of those pulls, this keeps the enemy from just running the hell away. Um, you know, keep in place. Uh, this really would have worked well against Jaina. I think I pulled her once. 
Um, I really didn't get anyone else too much that wasn't already in, in for a world of hurt. But uh, if you get in, like Jaina can't escape. You know, Genji, if you get him when he's off cooldown from dash, that probably would have worked out pretty well. Um, Arthas doesn't have a whole lot of escape. I, you know, sometimes I question pulling Arthas whether you want to bring him into your group in and have that AOE on top of you. Uh, so it's it's kind of a, a judgment call that you've got to make. Uh, Purifier Beam. So here, here was an interesting one. I mean, my choice of Purifier Beam or uh, Suppression Pulse. I, I, I'm okay with this. Again, not a whole lot of auto attack here. Um, Arthas is Frostborn Hungers, his ability damage. You know, the Genji mostly ability damage. His auto attack can be troublesome. Uh, you know, it would have been good against Vala. I'm, I'm okay with the, the, the choice that I made. Um, I don't think I got any kills with it, but I, I, I did think, you know, it did do some damage to people and, and kind of forced them to rethink what they needed to do and, and, and back off. Uh, 13. Graviton Vortex. Phase Prism pulls in and damages an additional enemy hero near the first, and its cooldown is reduced. So this will pull multiple heroes um, if they're nearby. I, I, I take this less for pulling multiple heroes and more for reducing the cooldown so you can cast it more often. So you can kind of, you know, dash in, cast this, maybe pull two heroes, maybe pull one. Um, and then this, you know, the cooldown will be up again more quickly so you can cast it a second time. Uh, 16. Titan Killer. Uh, twin Blades against heroes deal an additional 2%, so going for the damage. Um, go in and essentially just do, you know, extra you know, Twin Blades. So, you know, two hits, 4% damage, uh, extra, 4% uh, maximum health, I should say, damage against this. So that can add up. I think your alternative choice here, um, I could have taken... Uh, triple Strike. Um, I believe it's called Triple Strike, which will increase the cooldown on Twin Blades by one second, but it will make it attack three times. Um, so that could have been useful as well, especially when you when you stack it with Titan Killer. So now you go from from two and four percent uh, of their max health to six percent. Um, had we gotten to twenty, there are a couple of ways I could have gone. Uh, force of Will, possibly. Uh, which increases the shield overload's cooldown reduction uh, to six seconds from four seconds. Um, I think that would have been useful here. I, you know, I was I was definitely in the fray of things a little more than I had anticipated. Um, alternatively, just straight up Nexus Blades. You know, do more damage and slow enemy movement speed. So it seems straight up. Um, so I did mention I was going to talk about uh, what ETC was recommending to Lei Ming. I don't know how much of a deal it would have made. I, I think. Lei Ming, excuse me, Lei Ming was hitting, hitting the tanks because that's who was available to be hit. Um, you know, that's that's kind of my job, <laughs> in some cases, to kind of put those uh, squishies in her line of fire. Um, I think they, I think she did okay ultimately. Um, as a group, we we really, we kind of stepped it up at the end. Um, I think ETC. You know, I, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, you know, talk a lot of crap about them. It was one of those games. <laughs> You know, you never know what you're getting into in a quick match. Um, I, I would have liked ETC to have come to help out against the boss when they were going for the boss. I see that he was pushing the cart, which we definitely needed, seeing that we were behind. Um, but the boss was a win condition. We only had one shot on the core, and the boss would be a shot on the core. Um, you know, the team... Yeah, that could have gone poorly. I mean... You know, we I was standing there and I couldn't even blade dash. I wanted to blade dash against that opponent, and I was afraid if I did, they would cap the boss um, before that happened. I'm getting a random invite from someone. Uh, I'm going to decline it because I think that's going to be all for now. But anyway, uh, I hope that was entertaining or at least educational. You have an idea of what Artanis can do, kind of how you know he's going to run against some certain people. Um, you know, if you have any questions, comments, the usual stuff, leave them in. You know, leave in the comments. Uh, feel free to call me a noob. Haha. Uh, I will post the build on Heroes Earth and link it in the description. And uh, thanks very much. Take care.